Uh, 7.21 now, a very good evening. This is Midlands Masala on a Sunday night as usual from 6 till 8pm on BBC WM and BBC Coventry and Warwickshire. Hope you're well. Uh, let's talk art next. Just a few days ago, Birmingham-based artist Jyoti Kaur Kalsi's latest event uh, opened. It showcases her art, which explores the spirituality of Sikhi. Now, it says here, the art exhibition, but I have been told since it's actually an art expedition. Uh, Jyoti will explain the difference shortly. It's being held at the Gap Arts Project in Birmingham, and uh, Jyoti's in the studio with me right now. Jyoti Korkalsi, a very good evening. Hello, thank you for having me. Hey, thanks for coming in. And uh, tell me about... Actually, before you tell me about the actual, um, the actual exhibition stroke expedition yeah what's the difference um so it's it is an ex exhibition but mm. i've called it expedition because it's about um people going on an adventure of the mind right. um so when they come into the gallery they'll see everything um sort of a uh, different dimensional look to it so it looks as if the art is coming towards you oh. and it's about really um which art chooses you when you walk in um, oh. And it's about guests choosing which portal they like um, because it's about the spiritual aspect and it's something that they can connect with. But also it's something that they remember as well because the name is slightly different and yeah. unique like my art is. Hey, that sounds really, really, really interesting and absolutely unique. I've not heard of a, a concept like that before. How did it all come about? Um, so I have been doing art for quite some time. I mean, since I was in primary school but mm -hmm. I, I worked in different projects um to do with building sort of benches and public art aspect of things um and then i went on to doing sort of uh, activist work within art so it was things to do with um issues to do with the youth or it didn't really matter which age you were it was sort of different topics that i um used my art to highlight mm -hmm. Um, and then I did sort of human rights as well to do with um, Sikh political, political prisoners and different other things as well. Um, and then this just sort of came about. It was just sort of me clarifying to myself what I wanted to do with my life mm -hmm. and to take control of it. Um, and I always say that creativity is um, valuable for, all, for the correction of all imbalance. So, um, yeah, so it was after I lost my father, I was trying to... Uh, build that connection with him again mm -hmm. um, and the work itself is me overcoming the depression that I had um, and it sort of is screaming within and me trying to combat that and it's helped many other people as well and lots of people have come forward and spoke to me about how it's actually helped their depression as well yeah, um, that's fantastic so it's great describe what the artwork's like describe what we get to see so the method itself is it's wooden with clay and ink on top. So right. what I use is um, a it's a sort of a knife that I use to um, create all of my pieces. Um, and it's sort of something that I don't actually plan or trace. It, it just comes to me within the moment. And it's sort of a map to the universe. So every piece has um, a message or a clue to what is in the universe. There's been some pieces that are um, showing the discoveries of what has recently been found, but I've actually um, tried to show that a long time before it's come out. Yeah. So, so for example, Hidden Ocean on Mars is one, and um, they all fit together really, it's sort of a puzzle that you see each angle is something unique, um, and it's about everything connecting as well. So everything, it's different pieces, but it's all oneness because of the way that the angles fit together. Oh, it sounds definitely like a spiritual experience. I can see the spirituality side. What's the link with Sikhi, with the Sikh religion? Yeah, so um, a lot of people, I feel sometimes they miss out on the spirituality and sometimes it's it's too focused on certain aspects. Um, and it's sort of me trying to remind people of what is actually the depth of it and how to sort of remember things and remember each guru, for example, as more than just facial features. It's about showing the light and the vibration. And the reason why I chose this method as well is because it's actually, um, it starts off as a black canvas, but it's a suggestion of light and darkness as one in the same. Mm -hmm. And that emphasis is always put on the dark aspect. But when it's to do with 
the light. It's about actually you can't have darkness without light. So put emphasis oh. on the light aspect oh. instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it depicts a lot of um, the stories to do with um, each guru. And for example, um, Guru Gobind Singh Ji has I've created a piece where it's so many different stories that have happened throughout his life just on one canvas. Oh wow! So it, it's it has it has the onlooker um, thinking about actually what what happened at this point and how does it connect with everything else and how it can be seen as more of just a natural thing to do with nature and spirituality in general. And I understand it's interactive. What's the interactive element? Uh, not only is it you have to look onto everything and see the bit, the little angles and see which um, area of it is which story, but yeah. it's also about, um, it's, it's sort of full of energy. So it's, because it's not anything planned, this method is very... Um, it's very hard to do. So it's something that, you know, a lot of people th say to me because it's just a canvas and I'm using a knife. Mm -hmm. There's no room for any mistakes. And the point of that is for people to sometimes actually be one with the universe and to understand that you don't have to plan everything. It's about everything will just sort of happen in a natural way. Okay. And when it does, it's actually more beneficial. So, yeah, not only the sort of vibes that people get, but it's also... Um, little games that you used to play with as a child, for example, where you have you have to look for different things, or it, it's just it's just sort of a nice, fun way to look at art. It sounds again. good to me. Tell me where uh, this is on and how long it's going to be running for. So it's at the Gap Arts Project, and that's mostly road, and it's going to be on until thirty first of May. Um, I'll be doing things in between, um, so times will vary. For example, this Saturday coming, there'll be a cafe opening there. Mm -hmm. So it's all connected, um, and I'll be doing a demonstration so everyone can see how it's done face-to-face, oh, um, -face, and also a contest so people can do a one-to-one -one workshop with me and speak to me about things as well. Oh, brilliant. And is there a website we can find out more details on? Sure. Um, my website is www.jothicalcalci.com. Um, and all art pieces are up for sale as well. Um, so it's whoever sort of puts the best offer in and it's throughout the month. So it's sort of a bidding aspect to it. I see. Hey, listen, it sounds good to me. Um, I hopefully will get a chance to come by and see what you have been trying to explain to us here on the radio tonight. And I wish you all the very best, Jodhi. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you Thank very you. much indeed. Uh, that website, once again, is jyotikarkalsi, all one word, dot com. And I'm going to spell it for you. It's J-O-Y-T-I-K-A-U-R-K-A-L-S-I dot com. Uh, and it's on at uh, the Gap Arts Project on Mosley Road through to the end of the month. Do go check it out if you get a chance. Uh, just coming around now to half past seven, it's Gagal.